Once you have data in tables, there's a few things you can do. You can have an automation set up to bring data in, maybe from Airtable. You can set up a workflow to take some of this data and send it out to HubSpot. Or you can do stuff within the table itself. For instance, add a total field that takes the quantity multiplied by the price. So let's see what that looks like. In the table, I'm gonna just click Automate in the bottom right. And then you have those three options I just went over. We're gonna go ahead and bring data in from Airtable. So when we click that, it'll create the automation setting up a Zap on your behalf. And when you're ready, you go ahead and click in. And this will open up a Zap ready for you to set up. We'll search Airtable, and for this example, anytime there is a new record, we're gonna add it into our table that we had created. You authenticate an account, choose the base in the table, you run a test, and with the example record, you continue on to create a record in the table. Once the fields are mapped, you're ready to go. Now the Zap is on, we're gonna see that show up in the linked assets section of the sidebar. It's the same sort of process if we wanna actually send information out to, say, HubSpot, we would click send data out and we'd build out that automation in the same way. Anytime there's a new record in the table, we'd go through and create an action to add the order to maybe a customer profile in HubSpot. Now there's one last thing I mentioned we can do. We can enrich the data that's already in the table. Like I said, I wanna have a total field. So I'm gonna add a field in real quick, name it total. It'll be a currency field, I'll click create. Now from this field, I can click create a zap or again, I can click the automate button and choose to modify the data. Now, anytime there's a new record in here, we'll perform that calculation to multiply the price times the quantity. All right, we'll continue with that test record. The beautiful thing about these formatting steps or to create calculations is they are free. So we'll use the format. We're gonna be working with numbers. We'll be multiplying. And the values we need to multiply, right, are the quantity multiplied by the price. Once we have that, all that's left to do is update the record in the table. To choose that record, we're gonna go back to the trigger. We'll choose custom and map in the record ID. That way, every time this runs, it'll run on the specific record itself that triggered the automation. And we see the total field. We'll just map in what we calculated in the formatter step, click continue, test the step, turn the zap on, and now we can see for new records that total field will be calculated.